What's up, guys? Stuart Edge here. We are live right now, live on Instagram. We are doing a cook-off battle today with the one and only Logan Guleff. You know, Logan, we've done a few cooking videos before on YouTube. If you'd like, you can um, go and uh, check some of those out. We are live right now waiting for Logan to join. Here's what we're going to be doing today for those of you that are watching this after. Um, we are going to be doing a cook-off battle. Uh, let me get Logan involved in this uh, live stream just in a moment when he requests to join live. The idea for this came when um, I was sitting here uh, having a conversation with my roommate, Jameson, about uh, some cooking that we were going to do. And I decided to FaceTime Logan Guleff, who, as you guys know, is a master junior chef. And um, we decided to, we were telling about some cooking things that we were going to do with making a hot dog and adding some peanut butter, and he thought it was horrible. So I'd like to bring Logan Guleff in right now to explain what. Guys, give a round of applause for Logan Guleff as he joins this live stream. I just invited him to join. Waiting for... There he, there he is. The Hi, Stuart. Logan Guleff. How are you doing? All right. I'm doing good. Okay. So, so let's explain the rules. Uh, for those of you guys that are watching right now, Logan, uh, tell the viewers why this is even happening right now. All right. Cause, it uh, has to do with Stuart, peanut butter Stuart and here. hot dogs. He's crazy. He thinks that he can do like Italian sausage with hot dog bun with peanut butter and maple syrup. I mean, he is like committing scratch sacrilege of the highest degree to the culinary order. And uh, well, I decided that I would have to come in and, you know, tell him what he should really be doing with this hodgepodge of ingredients that he has pulled out of his coronavirus pantry. So coronavirus yeah. pantry. Here's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Let me explain this to them, Logan. Yes. Yeah, so here, this is exactly what happened. We were having a FaceTime this morning telling each other what we're going to cook. I want to yep. introduce my roommate, Jameson. Uh, this is uh, roommate Jameson. Hello, everybody. We were telling Logan today about a lunch that we were going to create um, involving hot dogs and Ital Italian sausages, to be more specific, and peanut butter. And Logan was like, that's crazy. That's not the way to cook it. So we put a little challenge out there on the internet well, to him. And I was like, well, let's take this to a live stream to see – what we could actually do. So we're going to do a chopped challenge today where Logan yep. and now, mainly James go head to head had... in competing. Let's get right into the ingredients, Logan. Let me explain right. what the ingredients are. I will show them on the camera and why don't you explain you to the them? viewers or you you explain to the viewers ingredients? what these ingredients are that we will be doing for this chop challenge. All right. So what we have here is we have my, my one poor hot dog bun. We have the – this is my pork that I have. He's got – And we have – Logan, sausage. explain to the viewers what we have. All right. Well, you guys have up there – you guys have the hot Italian sausage. Pretty good stuff. My sausage is still sausage, but this is like more of a bulk breakfast sausage style thing. This is what would be filled in the uh, actual cases. And um, then Stuart is also mad enough to pick crunchy peanut butter. This oh. is the thing that's going to divide the oh, party right have, here, the peanut you, butter. Oh, this was man. the thing that made Logan furious. Oh, oh Stuart. Oh. oh, get out why, of here. Why, Logan, explain why are you furious that we have peanut butter? It, it's, it's, it's not Jeff. That's number one. Number two, it's, it's inferior. It's inferior. Number three, it's sweet. It's got honey in it. And number four, it's not natural. I mean, there's, there's just so much wrong with that, Stuart. Logan, and I will say our, that you're... Your your brain your intelligence is getting in the way of you experiencing an amazing meal right now. Your palate uh, is blocking out know. some amazing stuff. Your your palate is my, like my, an immune system that's blocking out me. everything. All right, it's All right. good that it's and blocking then, out the corona, right? But I'm telling I, I you, mean, the peanut butter is not the coronavirus stuff. right now. The I, peanut I butter is the cure doing. to your ailment. Oh. Uh, so yeah. let's continue explaining. Logan, uh, okay. we have, like I said, for this chop challenge, we are going to oh, we yeah. have Italian sausage, we have maple syrup, peanut butter, and potato. For those of you guys that don't know how this works, uh, 
Logan. Oh yeah, there, there's an extra ingredient, by the way. You're forgetting. There is one, an extra ingredient, and I will unveil that in a few minutes. But let's just go ahead and get started. We will start the official timer right now. Let's go ahead. We are going to be. Um, I'll be hosting this, Logan. So pass the camera off to your people over there, and All I right. will now turn the camera to Jameson. Jameson, let's start with you. What are Jameson's Jameson's Um, credentials? He looks like a sous chef there. I think that's a a ringer. Hey, mom, mom. I think he's running a chef. (laughs) Jameson, explain to us what we're going to be making with these ingredients right here. So here's the thing. We're coming from a place not of pure imagination. We are making this because we have made it before. And we know how good it is. Oh, isn't that an advantage? And so we don't have the experience (laughs) at the vast level of chefery that Logan has. But we know what this can be. And we are going to recreate it again for you today. Um, So we're going with a traditional um, hot dog. We're going to do the bun. We have these Italian hot sausages, which may sound weird. But with all these other flavors for us, we felt like the, the... Heat from the hot sausage is really something to just kind of pull it together. Um, yeah, we're going to go with from hot uh, sausage. maple syrup, the maple, pure maple syrup, and then a Skippy natural peanut butter with honey that we will drizzle over. Great stuff. We've and got, we also oh. have we also have bacon that will be crumbled on top of it. Yes, oh, we've no. got I, our. I, I hear a lot of excuses right now. coming from that side over there. Logan, well, why don't you explain to the viewers right now oh. what you're going to be attempting to cook? I see you already preparing. Oh, you mean the uh, the the award-winning, never-before-made Logan's um, pad thai inspired, of course, um, little sausage meatball that I'm making here. Right now, I'm adding a smoked salt, a birch smoked salt. This is a personal favorite of mine. I really love it. I've so, Logan, if pepper. I understand this correctly, you are not going the traditional hot dog route. You're going no. the meatball route. Yeah, I'm going with Do the I see route. there? What are you going to be doing, Logan? What are you going to be doing with the hot dog bun? Because we're just doing a traditional oh, well, I hot, dog the hot dog bun. In there, you see there. There's hot dog bun already inside of there. So whoa, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Logan Gulliff is pulling out the stops already. He has taken his hot dog bun, Jameson. How does that make you feel? He's taken his hot dog bun and he's broken it up into little crumbs and he's put it inside of. A meatball that he's going to be making. I'm going to be making a spicy meatball. Mm-hmm. See, that's because you may have noticed that. I will give it to Logan there. He may have won MasterChef Junior, but I am an avid watcher of guys' grocery games, and that will help us out in the end. <laughs> mm. Ooh, okay. okay, so let's go ahead. Um, hey, Logan, you we'll start this. The wrong way. Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to. If you guys here. have any questions, um, please let us know, and I will ask Logan. <laughs> But for those of you guys that are just tuning in or those of you watching, just to recap, here's what is happening. Today, Logan gave us a challenge. Well, he was mainly disgusted by the fact when I told him that we were going to be making Mm -hmm. um, hot dogs but adding peanut butter to hot dogs. And he says, no, you don't add peanut butter to a hot dog. And so that started this challenge where we said, well, let's take it to the Internet and see who can have the best combination of peanut butter hot dogs? Logan, yes. uh, again, please do explain what you are going to be making with the ingredients, peanut butter, hot dogs, bacon, and um, hot dog buns. Oh, I thought, I thought that we got rid of the bacon. <laughs> oh, did we, do we have to add the bacon? Mm. Oh, you okay. got to say what's in it. All right, so what I have in here, Stuart, is I have my peanut butter, my hot dog bun, I have smoked paprika, I got the guanciale paste, um, the goji jong paste, I have my maple syrup, and uh, mm, smells good. I also have a smoked salt in there. Oh, just so many flavors there. You know, I'm trying to build those layers of flavor. You feel, you just have to layer and stack, and stack, do a little stacking layers dance. Oh, so I have to have your ramen. Mm. Delicious. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my pork and I'm going to add it in. So I'm not going to take too much pork here because guess what? I'm going to have to have this for breakfast tomorrow. So um, just going to try and get in there. You know, it's a meatball, so you can't really be afraid of this. You can use a little bit more. Yeah. Mm. Logan, we'll come back to you in a moment. I want to give a little uh, insight about what we're going over here. But just so you guys are clear, for those of you, 
Logan seems like he's taking his ingredients and he's making a meatball out of them. While here over in the, the edge home, Jameson is going the traditional route. Does that make you a little nervous? I mean, that is... I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's oozing with flavor. Look at that flavor. I mean, we, we knew going Ooh, into this, this flavor. was, uh, was going to be an uphill battle. But, um, well, look at that flavor. You know, I'm, I'm going for not Pure just flavor. the flavor. I'm going for the feel. And since everyone's stuck at home right now and is just wanting that comfort food, there's not much more comforting than just grabbing a hot dog bun and scarfing it down with some delicious flavor to go. So, But I, I am impressed. The, the meatball route is next-level stuff. That is for sure. Logan is already cooking his meatball. They're already on. Um, I think it is now a good time to introduce our secret ingredient, our mystery box ingredient sure, that needs to be incorporated into this meal. Logan. I, I got I to gotta wash my hands here. I got to stay safe. We will show our box. So for all those Chop fans out there, don't show it yet. We know that um, in Chop, there is a mystery box challenge. So you're going to have to incorporate the following ingredient. On the count of three, unveil the mystery box. One, two, three. Ramen noodles. Courtesy of yours truly. So now, this mystery here is box the mystery is ingredient, ramen noodles. Logan and Jameson need to incorporate ramen noodles into their their meal. So Logan is going the route of taking the yes, sir, you still there? He's cooking. He's cooking. Okay, that was a little um, bit of bacon grease. Yes. So since you did say they had to use bacon I happen to have Logan, what are you going to do? How are you going right to here? incorporate ramen noodles into your meatball? Nope. The ramen noodles are actually going to be on the side because uh, here's my ramen noodles here. Oh. Sorry, I'm bad at the camera work, Stuart. No, you're right. fine. Logan, tell us, what are, how are you noodles. going to be incorporating ramen noodles into your meatball? Well, the ramen noodles, they don't fit in the meatball. They have to go on the side. And everybody knows meatballs and spaghetti goes well. So I'm going to do a little bit of a play on that, but more Asian style. That's why I picked these wider noodles. You see them? They just have this beautiful texture. Really nice. Mm, delicious. I'm going to go in my water, which... That's one of these. Okay. Ask him what's in this pot, Stuart. Oh, no. No, no, no. What'd you... Pot, you guys don't need to know about that pot. That pot does not exist. Whatever you think's in there, Stuart, it isn't in there. Okay, Logan, I don't know what good you luck. See. Again, Logan is I think the I think the ramen noodles are going to derail Logan. I don't think he is going to be able to understand how to incorporate ramen noodles into his meatball concoction. I think the peanut butter is going to derail him as well. I don't think he's going to have any idea. We're going to go back uh, to the, the peanut Jameson butter is already in the Jameson. sausage balls. With the bun. Hold on, we're gonna so we're gonna talk to Jameson real quick. Ball. Jameson, how are you feeling? You're a little nervous. You have to incorporate ramen noodles somehow yeah. into a traditional American hot dog meal. Yeah. So what we're I mean, doing? I, 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 I can do this in my hands for most of this, but Stuart, this is a collaborative effort on coming up with the ideas. And Stuart had a really good idea. We are taking we've taken the ramen, we've crushed a bunch of it, and then we've taken the bacon grease from the bacon that we cooked. And we are going to lightly toast or whatever you want to call it in a frying pan the ramen in the bacon grease and then use it as a topping on our hot dog. How does that make you feel, Logan? We're taking the ramen and we're, we're putting Here. it in our bacon grease. So, so, so what are you doing? You're doing like a, a stir fry, like a pad thai? No, he's doing like we're a taking, top we're taking our grease. We're taking our ramen, which is the mystery box ingredient, right. and we're putting it yeah, into... We're putting it into our bacon grease. How does that make you feel? Does that make you tremble? No, no. And are you, you afraid? Have have too much bacon grease to fully deep fat fry anything. You're gonna get a light crisp on there, but you're not gonna get the same crisp that I'm going for. Cause I got the deep oil. You see that oil? That's deep. What is in your you're pot right there? What is in your pot? What is in, what is in that pot? What's in that pot? In that pot is oil. That is um, vegetable oil. Okay. 
See, we're going the route of we're using the oil and actually the grease from the actual ingredients that we're cooking with, which is the bacon. Okay, well, the bacon grease that? is in the, he's yeah, frying yeah, the frying meatballs the in bacon grease. <laughs> So he's What'd used his baking grease too. Oh yeah, I'm using that. Too. This is World War II cooking here in the quarantine kitchen. The quarantine kitchen. How much time left, Jeff? How much time left, uh, Logan? I mean, we we can probably do this in another thirty seconds. How much time do you need? Oh, okay. Oh, we need more than thirty seconds. Oh, sure. We got sausages aren't cooked enough. We'll give you, we'll give you one more minute. Again, no. <laughs> Five, five more minutes. <laughs> Logan's quick. That's one thing I will say about Logan. He he's already got. He's already seasoning his meatballs. Um, oh no! I'm I do want to see. It. I, think, I do think this is interesting. Um, get a good look at this. So Logan's route was uh, taking the Italian sausage better, that would normally be, the sauce. or taking the sausage oh, yeah. and turning them into meatballs. And he took the bread and which we're using for the hot dog buns, and he put them inside the bread. But here's the thing, Logan. Um, how are you incorporating the peanut butter? Because that was the ingredient that was your arch nemesis. Well, it's already in the meatball. It's in the meatball. It's already in the meatball? Yeah. That was what I was doing in the beginning when you guys were, were all... Oh, da, 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 da. I was putting the meatball. I was putting the, the yakisoba sauce, the this, the maple syrup, okay. and the peanut butter all into the meatball so i had i had the, the meat which is number one i had the sausage then i had the the uh the peanut butter then i added the maple syrup and then i added the hot dog bun puts four ingredients in one meatball wow you went all out with just that meatball that is going oh, to yeah. come back to hey, bite we need some paper towels chef Here's right. what we're gonna do, Logan. I want you guys. I want you to put your camera on your meatball so we can keep that in line. I'm gonna. So just focus on your meatball. Wait, 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 wait. See Since that whole cooking no process. Towels, we gotta oh dry goodness. these noodles off on a regular kitchen towel. It's been oh cleaned goodness. and sterilized. <laughs> there are no paper towels in Memphis. So I want you to guys back up a little bit so we can see the whole cooking process that Logan is going through. And I'm going, while you're doing that, just stay on that shot for a little bit. I'm going to show the whole cooking process that we're, process that we're doing over here and get insight of what's happening over here. We'll come back to you in a moment, Logan. Okay, Jameson, we've been talking with Logan. Honestly, the fans are loving what he's doing. He is true master chef over there. Um, how are you going to compete? He's, he's making, <laughs> I think he might win this competition, but what are you <laughs> What are you going to do to, um... Uh, yeah, at this point, we are living on a prayer. Um, I am melting some butter so we can get the buns started toasting these last well, few minutes. You're melting We've got the butter bacon sauce. crumbles. We've got the, um, the noodles are cooking. Sausage is about ready. So we are close to getting ready to start plating. Oh, wow. What's in Logan, that does that Logan? make you nervous that we are just moments right. away from well, plating? <laughs> Oh, drop your noodles. They're moments away from plating. You're going to have to drop them. Look at that, Check Logan. Logan, Check look at this. We're already, Logan. Logan, go, we're Logan, already go. putting butter on our buns. Logan, it seems like Logan has pulled the ramen out of – he's putting it inside. Logan, are, are, are you cooking the ramen twice? Are you double cooking yes, the ramen? Yes, I cook ramen. ramen. What I'm doing is I'm keep frying it. In oil right Hold now. on, get, go up close to go up close to Logan so we can hear what he's saying. Go up close to Logan so we can. Are you right, are so you twice right cooking now, your ramen? I'm deep frying my ramen. So I have already cooked my ramen once, but I'm cooking it again to get it crispy. If Whoa! You see that pause bubble, for a second. Let me update the viewers right here. Pause. So pause for a second, Logan. Pause for a second. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Logan has ahead, said that he is twice cooking his ramen. He boiled it once. And now he's frying his ramen. Twice cooked ramen to get a crispy. Wow. Jameson, let's get word in on Jameson. How do you feel? Twice cooked ramen. I mean, he's pulling out of the stops. I've never heard of twice cooked ramen. I wish I could just be watching and seeing what he's doing right now, but I've got bigger it things is on my amazing. plate right you now. You can watch it back later live. Or... Twice okay, cooked ramen. Yeah. Yes. Logan, 
how did you come up with that idea to do quite twice cooked ramen? What was the thought process that went, went through your head when you thought of incorporating this? Do explain. Uh, explain well, my yours. thought process was very simple, Stuart. I thought, you know, I need to cook my ramen, but cooking it once, anybody okay. can do. But cooking it twice, deep frying it, getting it into this crispy, beautiful nest with lattice with a little bit of crunch to offset the squishiness of the meatball really sounded great. Also, it really goes well with the entire theme of the dish, which is this kind of Asian fusion inspired thing that's coming out from the, from my pantry, from who knows where. You need something extra in your sauce. Oh, yeah, dude. I have what I need. Stuart, you might be wondering what this giant bottle of secret ingredient is. This happens to be a Japanese Alcohol. cooking sake, which is, um, and a little bit of sesame oil. Now I'm adding the sesame oil to the thing to um, give it a better emulsion, better texture. You know, an oil, adding an oil to a sauce is really a good way to add texture. Oh, look at mm. that. Isn't that looking beautiful? Yeah. Interesting. Well, Logan has decided to go very oriental in this I guess not oriental you've decided to go um, very very strange more of a traditional meal you could say mm -hmm. I'm going to tune in Logan I'm going to tune in over here on the edge uh, side of things and give <laughs> a look but why don't you guys back up again so we can see Logan's entire cooking process while I check in with what's happening over here Oh, Jameson, I smell some, it smells burnt and crappy you over here. You don't need to tell them that, Stuart. I just, uh, woo! Um, the, the ramen got a little toasty. We'll be honest about that. Is it good? We got the buns. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me taste pretty it. pretty good. Um, I'm going to taste this. The problem with these broths is they, they're kind of curved, and when you cook them, they stay curved, so I've slit them Check out angles. those broths, Logan. Bro Logan, check out those broths. I just slit them at angles because it's going to be important to sing lay somewhat flat as we prep it. So oh, God. Sure Stuart, I thought you were going to replace by now. Come on. What'd bro. you say? Those plates, they're like what they come from Ikea. Oh, well, they, Logan, I will have you know that these plates are exactly from Ikea. <laughs> Good eye. Logan, <laughs> Logan is... Logan is ragging on the plate. I know now. where wow. my plates come from. In this time where we should be coming together. Here's the thing, Logan, we are, I'm not going to show, take it, Logan, take a good look at this, this plating. Take a good oh look at it. Oh my God, Stuart. This is not what it's actually going to be. This is not what it's actually going to be, but I'm going to, we're going to play a little bit differently. And you're not even going to be able to handle how well we played this. In a Are they crispy? Um, but just take a good look at what it was going to be. Give them one more minute. Do we have to play yet? I still got things cooking here, Stuart. Again, for those re watching or those tuning in, what we are doing is we are doing a chopped challenge. Logan Guliff, excuse me for burping <laughs> at that live stream. It was like a Shia LaBeouf 2003 Conan O'Brien interview burp. Wow, that's a deep cut. Pulling out of the rest yeah. of the um, Logan challenged the idea of Mama putting Ed's peanut butter plates. on. Oh. Um, what happened? <laughs> Logan We're challenged surprised. the idea. He thought it was a dinner. gross idea to put peanut butter on hey, oh, a hot dog. A and so we decided idea. to take it's, this live and it's see. It's not Italian uh, sausage. Oh, there it's, ah, it, there we go. He, he thought it was gross to put peanut butter on an Italian sausage. Um, we're going to play differently. I think we should use those. Oh, the put boards. it on, a, oh, on no. the towel on a big plate. So, so you don't get oil everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah. Get on a second plate. Normally we use paper plates. <laughs> Logan says, <laughs> Logan, are you going to be using paper plates, Logan? Logan's plating is going to be a paper plate. No. Um, Logan, we are pulling out some stops with our, our board. I will show the, the viewers. Check out this. We swapped out our IKEA plates for some wonderful um, things like this. This looks Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> You're gonna get some okay. new kitchen pots. Logan, Logan we are nice already in our plating. Sauce, we are already in our plating. Look at this, Jameson. Explain to the viewers what you're doing and why you've chosen to do this. So we heated up the peanut butter because we really want it to be a drizzle and not so just a goopy like spread. So we just put it in the microwave for a little bit, make it really liquidy, and so we could get a really even drizzle so you don't get too thick of a bite of peanut butter at any given point. Mm, that looks beautiful. Okay, so Jameson, you have do you have the maple syrup? No. The maple syrup actually will go on right now. Okay. You want the crunchy stuff to stay on top so it doesn't get saturated too much. Okay. But you know, I'm gonna And then we, the ingredients that were needed to be used were peanut butter, check, maple syrup about to be poured on. I get it. I got it. Here, this one. Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to help. We're in our plating moment. Logan, if you can wait for a moment to finish plating, I want to, I want, actually, yeah, you can, you can just go ahead and start plating. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are showing the plating process for both um, contestants. Jameson has his hot dog yeah, and peanut butter and bun with crumbled yeah. bacon on top. Logan has an amazing concoction <laughs> over there. He's created a stand out of his ramen that is holding up no. he's, he's, <laughs> he's drizzling his his um logan is that the maple syrup that you're drizzling on top of it no this is actually a peanut butter maple syrup um sesame oil salt pepper a little bit of the cooking mirin or cooking sake um yakisoba sauce sauce and let me just look at that look Look at how youngish that is. Just look at how it comes off the spoon, how it coats the back of the spoon. Just oh. amazing looking. Oh. Get some greens. Now, yeah, I know. I'm gonna garnish it, but ooh, gotta get that. Jameson pulling out the oh, stops to add pickles. a little bit of color. Hey, hey, hey. Right. pickles aren't on the in the pantry. What did you say? Pickles aren't in the pantry. We already ate them all. Oh, oh, yeah. Logan Gulef. Uh, Coming up short right now. He's sweating, not sure how he's going to make this work. Um, Jameson, the one item that is not on your plate right now is the ramen. Oh, it is. No, it is. It is. I'll put a little bit more on there so they can see. But uh, we put that on last. Okay, Logan, 30 seconds. Are you, are you good? Are you done? I, I, think I'm, I think I'm done. You're I done? I think I'm going with the one meatball. You want to add another? Oh, I'll add another. It looks a little lonely. You're right. Okay. Stop breaking them. Stop breaking the ramen. I'm just trying to help. I you think that is good. Hands thing. up. Jameson has his hands up. He is done. No, that doesn't look right. Nah, that doesn't look right. Take it off. I'm not, I don't want to eat that. You want to eat it? Yeah. I want to give it a try. Hmm. You might need a little more garnish. Get some of the frizzles. Logan, Jameson is tweeting right now about... He's checking up on his tweets. He's checking in on his Twitter DMs because he's got so much time to pass. I'm just taking a picture of this because this looks good. While Logan is still. The salad. Right here. Yeah. Here, let's lift this. Add just a little, little bit this. of salad. Jameson is salad? sliding into yeah. DMs on a broken Twitter DM system right now. Apparently, the word is that the Twitter DMs are broken. Jameson is passing the time. While Logan is still doing his plating, look at this beautiful concoction. Logan, are you about done? Almost. Oh, yeah. You got to be very sparing with this because, you know, salad is Ladies pretty hard. I, I need to, oh, my goodness. We'll show you a little close there up we in go. a moment. I think yeah. that's good. Right up. Yeah. Really um. <laughs> Okay, so some questions are coming in. Where's Jameson's ramen? We will show you guys all this in a moment. Um, once we, Logan, Say, are you ready? Hello. Um, let's put the plating right over here underneath this. So move your plate right over here, Jameson, if you want to mind and clear. Um, are you done, Logan? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, Logan, place your food in a well-lit area so that we can see and we can show the viewers and you can do it explanation of what your food is we have come to this point okay before you show it put it back on logan put the camera on logan put the camera on logan for now so here here's what happened 
this, we came together with this competition to see how you can incorporate the ingredients of peanut butter, buns, maple syrup, Italian sausage, you got the ingredients? and you the, the ingredients? ingredient was ramen. Logan, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and show Jameson first. We'll show Jameson first, and he will explain. And then, Logan, I would like your opinion on it. And then, Logan, you will show your concoction and Jameson first. So, Jameson, go ahead and give an explanation. And Logan, watch in and weigh in what you think and how he did. Okay. So, um, here we have our humble version of a – essentially, without the mystery ingredient of the ramen, this is basically a breakfast platter on a bun. You've got your syrup, you've got your carbs in the bun, you've got the, the sausage and bacon, you've got two protein sources, uh, maple syrup. Peanut butter obviously is not a common one, but there are a lot of people who like to put peanut butter on pancakes and stuff, so it's not the most foreign thing. And so you can see we've got um, the peanut butter and the maple syrup, which obviously doesn't really stand out as far as the color because it's so the, the pure maple syrup is thinner. But we've got that drizzled right over our um, Italian sausage and then bacon crumbles and ramen crumbles on top of the sausages. And then, you know, it looks very brown. It looks very food trucky, which is probably where this would belong. But to make it look a little bit nicer, I just put some cucumber slices, drizzle a little lemon juice, give a little bit more of an edge. So Jameson's ramen is cooked, fried in bacon grease and then sprinkled over the top. And that's how he incorporated his, his mystery ingredient. Show me Logan. inside of the meatball on, the, uh, on, on a the fork. Oh, on the fork. Logan, your stream is coming through. Okay, a, your stream you ready is for coming Logan? through a little bit. Your stream is coming through a little bit grainy, but do us, I mean, do it the best job you can of coming showing, I see this. of showing what your, um, your concoction is. Conveniently, Logan's stream is now oh, going shoot. out because he cannot stand um, against uh, Jameson's wonderful uh, hot dog over here. Again, guys, this this uh, competition started because Logan scoffed or goffed, <laughs> goffed at the idea of, of putting peanut butter on a hot dog. Logan Jr. Chef left. <laughs> he left the chat. Does that and mean so, uh, we can count that as a victory? It looks or? like we count that as a victory. Uh, Logan Gulliff. No, get him back on here. I want to see what he made. Logan Gulliff has, has decided to leave the chat because he, oh, he re Logan is requesting. Oh, to man. Here we go. So we're waiting for Logan. Waiting for Logan, we thought that that was a signal that you gave up, and you went really up. <laughs> it, was, it was a signal that my iPhone overheated. There's a big difference, you know. Um, I did not I did not leave the chat. I did not leave the premise. I'm still here with my delicious meatball and uh, fried stuff. But so let me let me walk you through my dish. I'll turn this around real quick. Let me get this. Got it. Boom. All right, so what I have prepared for you today, right now. Yeah. Let's see if we can get better light. Okay, yes. we're going for the better light. Beautiful lighting oh. to see this. Okay, so like right here. And uh, can, can we come back? Uh, right, right, right there, kind of? Yeah, there we go. All right, so what we have here, this is our fried ramen. This is our, our pad thai really sauce that I made. Look to that. Get really close up to that so we can see. You, f <laughs> twi you fried your ramen cooked it once, and then fried it so it would hold a shape. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's amazing. Yep. And so then that's the meatball with the sauce, and then that's the regular sauce, which you can see right there has a beautiful, beautiful texture. Absolutely gorgeous sauce. The peanut butter provides a really good emulsifier for the sauce with the yeah. Don't just sauce with just some peanut butter and a little bit of other stuff. And then that's that. And then if you want to see the inside of my meatball, because um, I'm sure you want to know, you can see right there, there it is, the inside of one of my other ones. You can see that it's super moist, just really, 
unctuous. It's got a little bit of crispy on the other side. Really good. And oh, mom just ate it. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> It's good. It's good. Really, it's good. Yeah. So we've got, got a hit plate on that I hate side. It. I will taste test this now um, on this side. <coughs> you got a good pic? Did you get a picture? Oh, I got a picture. <laughs> you got a picture? Logan, did you get a picture? You got a picture? Um, not yet. Get a photo while I taste test this on this. <laughs> Again, we have ramen over a <laughs> Italian sausage. Sure, sure. What, 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 what even is that? Wow. There's a lot of texture there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. Yeah, it's works. pretty good. I and mean, that is really good. I'm here to say that Logan's concoction is really like everything he cooks, delicious. I mean, I would eat it again, <laughs> even if it wasn't a pandemic. It's really good. I mean, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's a little bit spicy. Mm. 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 A lot of texture. Yeah, it feels good. A lot of crunch. Feels good. It's definitely not fancy. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Logan, great work. I think you... <laughs> I guess, who won? This is us waving the white flag. I think we have a sweet victory to you. But it's more than well, anything, it's just been an honor to go up against you. <laughs> Thank you. It was quite fun. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Really fun. Thank you so much. And, you know, I hope that this can really inspire you guys to get out there, cook with some creativity, cook with some love, and, um, you know, get something good. I could not have said it better myself, and so, therefore, I will not attempt to. Congratulations, Logan, for winning the first ever um, <laughs> Quarantine, quarantine cook off. Challenge. Great work. Maybe we'll do this Thank again. You. Um, Thank in, you. Uh, in another another day, try something else. But great work. Uh, post photos and each everyone that's watching the stream, go give Logan some love and and check out the the stream. And um, great work. We'll end this stream and uh, cheers to each of us. But again, Logan, taking that white flag. Bye, All right. Friends. Thank you, Stuart. It was a pleasure you, as always. Bye.